Have you ever decided that you wanted something like a different car, like a new car or a new pair of shoes or something? And like, you just made up your mind. You want it, you're gonna get it, and that's all there is to it. Or maybe you made the leap and you already got it. And then the next thing you know, you see the thing, the object of your desire everywhere you look. You're like, last week, nobody had a yellow Jeep. But now that I have a yellow Jeep, I see them everywhere. Like, I thought I was being unique I thought I was getting a yellow Jeep because nobody else had a yellow Jeep and now everywhere I look, I see a yellow Jeep. That's your reticular activating system, your RAS, picking up on things because, this is the best part, your brain is designed to help you get the things that you want, to support what you believe, to help the ideas that you have come to fruition. That's what your brain, that's what your psyche is designed to do. That's why they always say things like thoughts become things and what you think about will persist and all of those things because that's how your brain is wired to work. So if you're thinking, I, I'm gonna color my hair purple, like you decide that you're gonna color your hair purple and that's just what you're gonna do. The next thing you know, you're gonna see people all over the place with purple hair and you're gonna be like, hey, that was my idea. But it's not that those people weren't there before. It's just that you didn't notice them. You didn't recognize them. They weren't in your field of vision per se because you weren't thinking about purple hair. But as soon as you started thinking about purple hair or yellow Jeeps, or a boat or whatever, that's when you start recognizing them and that's when you start seeing them. And it's even more powerful and more of a strong recognition when you get really passionate about it. Like you got your brand new yellow Jeep and you're so excited to wash it and buff it and drive it and take the doors off and do all the Jeep things and the next thing you know, you just see yellow Jeeps everywhere. You see them with the doors on, you see them with the doors off, you see all these people with these yellow Jeeps and you're just like, what in the world? So I wanted to talk about how to use this to your benefit. How do you use your mind's reticular activating system to your benefit? How do you take those things that you think about and really make them happen. How do you manifest what it is that you want? So first of all, you kind of have to get a clear picture. You gotta know what it is you want. Do you want a four door Jeep or a two door Jeep? Do you want it to be yellow, purple, green, blue? Like what color do you want it to be? Do you want it to be tall with great big tires or do you want it to be short? Like what is it that you want? It's the same with a job or a friend or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever. When you make up your mind exactly what it is you want and you're really, really specific about it, your body, the universe, your brain, all of the things work together to bring things that match match your vibration, match your thought process, match what you're thinking about into view because it's your brain, your body's duty to make the things that you believe come true. So if you believe something really, really strongly, like you're not worthy, your brain is designed to prove to you, to find evidence that that's true. So you're always seeing things that remind you that you're not worthy. But if you believe in miracles and you believe that amazing things happen, then guess what? Your body, your mind, everything about you notices those little tiny things that happen and you're like, oh, there's a miracle. Whoops, there's another miracle. Hallelujah, there goes another miracle. Because your brain is designed to find 
and support your belief system. So using your RAS, your reticular activating system, to your benefit is really about choosing something to think about that is positive, that is high vibe, that is what you want. The thing that you want, the thing that you need, you get to choose. So yeah, pick. What is it that you want? What is it that you wanna see happen? Let's go back to that yellow Jeep. If you don't have a Jeep and you want a yellow Jeep, but not only just a yellow Jeep, you want a soft top with two doors with a really cool thing on the back for the tire. You want this awesome bumper that has the winch and all of the things. If you start thinking about all of the details of that Jeep and you start to get excited about what it would be like to drive it with the wind blowing through your hair, waving at all the other Jeep peeps, doesn't that excitement make it a little bit more fun? And don't you think that that excitement, that dream, that vision that you're creating in your mind would help that come into your life? Now, of course, you might have to save some money. You might have to work for it. Of course, you'd have to do those things. You have to do the things that allow it to come into your life. But what if you also wanted to improve your confidence? You wanted to improve your job, like how much you like your job or your relationship. Let's say you wanted to improve the relationships that you're in. The best way that you could possibly do that is to be happier with who you are. Start thinking about how amazing it is to have those relationships with those people, whoever they are, your parents, your siblings, your friends, whoever it is. Start thinking about how amazing it is to have such a loving and supportive relationship and then be loving and supportive. If you truly believe and you truly desire a loving and supportive relationship, what do you think your reticular activating system is going to do? It's going to look for things that support that belief. Are you picking up what I'm putting down here? You get to choose the beliefs that you want your mind and your body to support. So if you're choosing high vibe, good thoughts, like I am so worthy, I can do hard things. I can get that job. I will get that job. I will nail that job and I will do such a good job that they will give me a raise. They will let me train people because I'm gonna be the best employee ever. If you started thinking that way, instead of, I don't know, what if it's too hard? What if it's too many hours? What if I don't like what I have to do? Or what if, it, what if it takes too long? What if I can't get that Jeep because I can't save the money? What do you think your brain and your body and all of the things around you are gonna do? We live in a quantum field, right? So the energy that you're putting out is what attracts things to your life. Just like magnets. It's magnetic, you're magnetic. So think about the things and the feelings that you wanna have in your life and start thinking about how amazing it will be when you have them. Act as if you already do. I'm driving down the road in my yellow Jeep and I can feel my hair blowing in the breeze. I'm waving at my Jeep peeps. Guess what? Maybe I'm not driving a Jeep, driving a car, but I'm waving at every yellow Jeep I see because I'm gonna be driving one of those one of these days. And you can feel yourself driving that Jeep. Just like you can feel yourself doing a really good job at that new job that you just got. 
You can really feel yourself enjoying spending time with the people in your life, the relationships that you have. You can really feel it. You can see it. You can taste what it's gonna be like to eat that family meal, the gravy on top of the mashed potatoes. You can taste it. What is it that you can do to help your reticular activating system do a better job at spotting and drawing those things into your life? What can you do consciously to help your subconscious mind seek out and find the things that you want? The way you do it is you think about it and you focus on it and you get excited about it and you talk about it and you tell your friends, I'm gonna have a yellow Jeep. I'm gonna have it. It's gonna have two doors. It's gonna have this, it's gonna have that. It's gonna have the top off. It's gonna do all these things. It's gonna be so much fun to drive around. I can't wait to do all the modifications and all the fun stuff that I'm gonna do to my Jeep. I'm gonna do it with my own two hands. If you start thinking about the things that you want that way and you start using that reticular activating system that's an automatic thing that happens in your subconscious, you can draw to you what it is that you want. And you can use it for anything. Relationships, friends, things, jobs, a new life, a new house. Drive around the neighborhood that you wanna live in. Look at those houses and imagine what it would be like to pull your car up into that driveway and be like, woo, I'm home, this is my new house. If you start thinking and imagining and putting yourself in a position to think deeply and feel deeply about the things that you want, your body, your brain, the universe, the quantum field, all of the energy that's vibrating around you has no choice but to help it come true, to help it happen. It has no choice because the vibes that you're putting out are so amazing and attractive and divine that nothing, it, it can't help but make it come true. Isn't that a great way to live? You can use your body's subconscious your mind's subconscious thinking, you can turn it on by activating your reticular activating system, your RAS. So, what is it that you want? What color is it? What does it look like? What does it weigh? What does it smell like? What does it feel like? What does it feel like when your butt hits the seat and your hands on that steering wheel? Or what does it feel like when your family is sitting around a huge table and everybody's enjoying fellowship and a meal together and joyfully communicating back and forth with each other and having a fantastic family meal? What does that feel like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? Can you imagine yourself in that place? And the more you imagine yourself in that place, the harder your body works to make it come true. The more you believe that you're worthy, the more that you believe that you're awesome, the more that you believe that you deserve good things, the harder your mind and the universe work to make them happen. So take a few minutes and think about what your reticular activating system should be focused on. And a lot of people use like um, vision boards for this. You can make a list, you can repeat it to yourself over and over again, you can record it and play it back to yourself over and over again. And um, Kyle Cease, somebody I just watched a video today by Kyle Cease and he said that if you sit down every morning before you do anything else and write down a hundred possibilities, a hundred what ifs, a hundred already happened, a hundred amazing things that could happen to you in your lifetime or right now, or write them as if they've already happened. Like I met my goal weight. 
I'm fit. I can wear a size, whatever. I am 100% hydrated today. I am so excited that I get to exercise today. A hundred things, write them. A hundred things that are possible or you can imagine happening or that you would love to see happen and make them outrageous. I have a million dollars in my bank account. Every single day, write down a hundred things and make them as outrageous and outlandish. I am perfectly healthy. I am perfectly happy. My life is full of love and abundance. My life is full of joy. A hundred things, as amazing as you can make them. And see how your reticular activating system starts working. See how your brain and your body and all of the little atoms that are floating around in your body and around your body start to work for the things that you are starting to believe can come true. Use that reticular activating system. Use the energy that is in you and around you to attract the things that you want to you. And you can actually create a bigger bubble, a bigger, broader spectrum, a bigger, wider bubble to draw things to you by feeling it more fully, by really experiencing it. Go test drive that yellow Jeep. Take a picture of yourself driving that yellow Jeep. Think about all the ways that you could modify it and make it yours. Really, really, really like get in deep and feel it. And then watch how that reticular activating system starts working for you. And then double down on it every day. Double down, double down every day. Just keep making your dreams and your visions more and more outlandish. Like bring it all, bring it to me and see how your brain and every little atom that's floating around starts working for you. It's a law of nature. I'm not making this up. It's true. It's the way the universe works. It's the way God works. You can't achieve something if you can't see it. You can't get something if you can't visualize having it. If you think you don't deserve it, if you think you can't, you're right. But if you think you can, and you think you deserve, and you think you're worthy, and you think you're amazing, and you think you can have anything you want, then you can make it happen. You can draw it to you by being fully present and enjoying the visions of doing it, calling it to you by using your body's subconscious mind, the reticular activating system to create the feelings and the desires and the like power to draw it to you. So that's all I have. I hate to drop on a crazy note like that, but in all honesty, that's the whole story. That's the whole thing. You have the power to create anything you want. And you have little tools like that reticular activating system that works for you. Remember, your brain is hardwired to find evidence to prove what you think. So whatever it is that you're thinking, your brain is looking for evidence to prove that it's true. So why not help it find something good to prove? Help it find something high vibe to prove. Let your brain prove amazing things to you. Not look in the mirror and think, <sighs> look in the mirror and be like, yes, today's the day. I'm going to have an amazing day. It's going to be great. And then let your brain support that belief in every possible way. Choose. Choose. And then let your brain support that belief. That's it.
Thanks for watching. If you're new, type new. If you're watching this on the replay, drop me a replay. If you've ever had a reticular activating moment where you've seen something that you thought, what in the world? I just decided I wanted that and now it's everywhere. I decided to name my daughter Kimberly and literally five minutes later, everybody else's kids were named Kimberly. I was like, what, what, how is this possible? Why is everybody suddenly naming their children Kimberly? It was because my reticular activating system was picking up on it. And you can use that to your benefit. All you have to do is choose. So let me know in the comments something that you've noticed, your reticular activating system spots, something that's happened to you in the past. I'm sure you've, you've got something that you've seen. I'd love to hear how your reticular activating system, your RAS, has shown you things because you were thinking about them. I'm looking for you to support the evidence that yours works, and then I want you to learn to use it for your benefit. Love you guys.